Thursday, October the 8th, 2015. This is Brian Baith, and Brian Baith had a question for our state's attorney, Scott Schellenberger. What was that question? Uh, my uh, question was about the citizens' right to access to grand jury and uh, whether or not uh, state's attorney Schellenberger would uh, uphold our right to access to grand jury. Um, he was talking about prosecutor prosecutorial misconduct. Which, uh, you know, when that goes on, we have to rely on our officials to prosecute. Um, if they don't prosecute, then we should be able to prosecute them ourselves and avail ourselves of the grand jury process. And a lot of times we're being denied access. So we want our access. What else? Um, did I ask him a question? Did he answer my question? No, not at all. And what about my property? Oh, he said he's not going to give it back to you and he's not going to prosecute any officials over. Thank you. I would like to make a statement about Scott Schellenberger also. Scott Schellenberger was involved in a case in which I was being criminally harassed by a neighbor. The neighbor turned out to have relatives that worked for the county, and um, Scott Schellenberger no prost to criminal charges I brought against this neighbor and allowed me to be harassed for over five years, and including allowing the police to get away with every incident of harassment to not be reported on a police report. And I would like the people of Baltimore County to reconsider Scott Schellenberger's status and office when they go to the polls the next time there is an election. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming, Mary. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. And what did you witness today? You'll see it on that other memory card. All right. I witnessed a man who was afraid to answer tough questions uh, a lead, somebody who calls themselves a leader. A leader is somebody who doesn't, who's not afraid of answering tough questions. Um, and those tough questions obviously involve his, uh, the people who work under him, people who work with him. And I think that's his biggest fear is these people are his friends. And I'm sorry, but that's a conflict of interest. And to me, that says everything you need to know about Baltimore County. I appreciate that they had this, this great, uh, you know, homicide um, investigation unit. That's great, but when you have crimes being committed by county government that aren't being prosecuted, I'm sorry, but like I said to him outside, if somebody were to take my computer, if somebody were to take my video cameras, if somebody were to take my car, that, that's my livelihood right there. I would have a serious problem with that. And um, Did I disrespect that man today? No, you were very respectful. Um, you know, you did take a little bit longer than I thought, um, but he didn't answer your question. And I think Baltimore County residents need to know um, that he is not somebody who, on the deeper surfaces, cannot be trusted. Um, somebody with that amount of power that can't, um, that is afraid to prosecute their friends and their coworkers. Um, I don't care that you know that. You have to. You have to. You have to. We got to eliminate corruption. So if we're going to eliminate corruption, we'll go through the, the court. At the very least, it's not like the county government's bleeding dry. If, if you don't know where uh, Mr. Davis's property is, give him money back so that he can buy a new truck, a new computer. Not even a new one. Use. Prorate it. I don't care. Prorate the equipment. At the very least, stop ignoring this man because he's not going to give up. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's, he's deterred that will not go down the toilet. So I'm going to flush him. <laughs>